I'm extremely excited about today's video. I've never ever done this on camera before. I get asked all of the time, what makes you actually enter a trade? How do you enter a trade, etc., etc. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step by step exactly how I trade. We're gonna take some live trades. I'm gonna be trading for a whole hour Obviously, this video isn't going to be an hour long. I'm going to try and skip all the boring parts where I'm just waiting. But we're basically going to be scalping gold on the one minute time frame. I'm going to show you guys what I'm actually looking at in the market. And then I'm going to show you guys on my phone how I'm actually executing those trades, when I'm moving my stop losses, and then how I'm actually exiting those trades as well. So I'm hoping it's going to be an extremely fun video. It's currently midday. I do normally do this in the morning, but obviously I wanted to make a video about it. I wanted to show you guys. So I haven't traded at all today. So I'm going to be trading on the funded trading plus challenge, which I made a video about on Friday. Now, before we actually get into any trading, I do have to say a quick thank you to today's sponsor. Prime XBT is a whole trading platform with an app that you can download. You can use this platform to buy cryptocurrencies and hold cryptocurrency. You can even stake cryptocurrency and earn up to 14% per year. They have over a hundred different assets that you can trade like the foreign exchange market, obviously cryptocurrency, uh, gold, etc, etc, etc. They also have a wide variety of educational videos that can help you learn how to trade in different markets, whether it's cryptocurrency, whether it's the foreign exchange market, it. They have a crazy amount of valuable education, which is completely free to use and I'll definitely recommend to check that out. And the last thing which actually caught my eye is copy trading. Now copy trading can be very risky, so of course do your research on the person that you're wanting to copy. But Prime XVT does have a ton of phenomenal traders. You can actually see their trading history and if you find someone that you think is very good at trading, you can actually copy their account and basically it will make the same trades on your account and you'll be able to profit like those people are profiting. For me personally, I think this is a great idea, especially if you're still learning how to trade. You can copy other traders, make some money copying trades, and of course, educate yourself until you are ready to trade on your own accounts. So if you do want to check out Prime XBT, make sure you go to the link in my description. Now, let's get back to the trading. So first of all, I'm going to head over to TradingView. I'm going to show you guys the strategy that I'm actually using to scalp on the one minute time frame on gold. And then I'm going to continue to record myself, my screen and everything else. And once we find a good trade setup, I'm actually going to record my phone screen as well. Um, so I can show you guys what it is that I'm looking at and how I'm basically going to be taking that trade. Okay, so now we're on trading view. Um, in fact, a sell signal has actually just popped up. Um, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to my phone. I'm going to start recording on my phone. Like I said to you guys, I am using um, a 100k challenge. So this is a demo for the funded trading plus. I'm going to go over to gold one minute time frame. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to take a sell now. So I'm going to use two lots and this is pretty much the whole strategy. So you can see now obviously we're in this live trade right now because of this sell. This is the developer glow node but it will look pretty much exactly the same. So in fact let me just show you guys how I'm setting this up. If we set up glow node I'll show you guys on the actual glow node. What I'm doing is I'm going over to the settings. I'm going to change the candle colors with the trend. Now this will change the candle colors depending on the strategy that you're actually using. Now I'm going to be using glow node, which is just a strategy that we created. And you can see obviously it's, it's going to give us buy and sell signals. So I'm going to leave the signal sensitivity at 10. Uh, we're obviously using glow node, select OK. Basically what I'm going to be doing is every single time I get a buy or a sell signal, I'm going to take that trade. Uh, obviously we're on the one minute time frame. Basically the reason why it's so good is because it works based on momentum. So on the one minute time frame, the majority of times, obviously it doesn't work 100% of the time and you can see we are actually in drawdown right now. But the majority of times it's going to continue in the direction that that momentum is in. We got our sell signal. We're taking a sell. We are in an uptrend in market. So I do want to be a little bit more careful. But realistically, if this moves, let's say 20 pips, maybe 30 pips max, then the candle color will change. And as soon as the candle color changes, we're getting out of this trade. Obviously, you can see I don't have any stop loss right now. But what I usually do is as soon as the trade starts moving into profit, 
I'll move my stop loss to break even and then I'll keep a trailing stop loss and I'll just close the trade when I'm happy with the results. Basically, the way that I'm looking at this is realistically, it's not going to move over 50 pips. Now, if it does, I'm using such a small lot size uh, 2.00 lots for a $100,000 account. Even if it was to jump 100 pips before I could close it, I would still only be risking 2% of my account size. So this is very, very important to understand. I'm really not risking that much money. I'm using a very small lot size compared to my account size just to be able to take these kinds of trades. And you can see, obviously, it's moving up. Uh, we are in an uptrending market. We've got the higher time frames trend over here. So this is telling us what the trend is on the higher time frame. So we know we're in an uptrending market. Obviously, we're trading against the trend right now for this trade, but there are still opportunities. And sometimes, obviously, we need a pullback. So we can take all these trades, obviously, maybe target halfway down, or we could put a Fibonacci retracement or something like that. So if we put a Fibonacci retracement from this low to this high, we could then target this golden zone and just maybe catch 20, 30, 40 pips, right? So that's basically how I'm trading this. If this turns around and we get a buy signal, then I will close this trade in minus and then I will take a buy. I'll wait for this trade to play out. When it goes into profit, I'll let you guys know what it is that I'm looking at and how I'm actually moving my stop loss and all that kind of stuff. And if it turns into a buy, then I'll be back with an update on that as well. Okay, so as you guys see, we are getting a blue candle right now. So we're gonna close this trade. So minus 300, which is literally 15 pips. So our total risk for that trade was literally just 15 pips. So we've got four seconds now. We're gonna wait for that buy signal to pop up, buy, okay. And now we're just gonna buy that. And again, same thing. We're just gonna wait for something to happen, basically. Now we do kind of have this resistance area over here. so. Yeah, you can see it's pulling back now. Kind of just want this to break through. But again, basically the way that this strategy works, you can see, obviously, if we measure, let's say you took this buy over here, obviously it would have gone into a small amount of drawdown, maybe about seven pips, but it went all the way up to close to 40 pips in profit. And then basically we would have a trailing stop loss. So we maybe would have taken 30 pips profit, maybe 35 pips profit on that trade. So we're just waiting for something like that to happen basically. And it does happen very often. So because we're on the one minute time frame, each candle is printed so quickly that we do have enough time to get out of trades before big movements. Um, obviously we will be risking maybe 10, 15, 20 pips here and there. But then you catch one trade that catches 100 pips and you've just made back all your losses and more. Okay, so you see we just got a red candle and a sell signal. We're gonna close our buy signal uh, again, we've just lost another 10 pips and we're gonna take a sell now. So we're literally just taking a sell over here. And yeah, so you can see we're actually going into profit now. Finally, a good trade or oh, a trade that's gone into profit. So we'll see what happens. This is starting to go into profit. Hopefully it will just continue moving down and break this previous low. Uh, what I don't want to happen is, of course, be stuck in this kind of consolidation zone over here, which I think is looking very likely. So if that happens and this trade just kind of bounces off this bottom, uh, well, I mean, for one, we could target this bottom and just take a few pips at the bottom over here. What I would like to see ideally is this actually break below this low, and then obviously we'll start moving our stop loss to break even and then start moving it up as we go along. Uh, or into profit as we go along. So yeah, so we can see we're up just over five pips at the moment, but hopefully it'll break below this. Again, like I said, if, if we don't break below this point or above this point, I'm gonna wait for some sort of break and then take the next signal. <laughs> Right, so we have just got a blue candle, but again, like I said, we are literally just in consolidation at the moment. So I might close this trade. We're about to break even. I'd close this trade around break even. But yeah, so you can see currently we're down 
500 US dollars. Basically, I'm not gonna continue trading consolidation because it's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna wait. Hopefully this does break above. Wait, let me get rid of these. So either way, what I'm gonna wait for is the market to break this consolidation period. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the market to break this consolidation zone. And then we're gonna wait for the next signal and then hopefully just ride the momentum. So you can see we almost had it the market broke out but then it came back in which is why I didn't actually take any trades because I, I knew it could potentially come back into that consolidation period we then got a sell but again it was still in that consolidation so I didn't want to take it I'm hoping that this red candle now turns into a buy and we'll get a buy signal and then some more bullish momentum okay so now we have a blue candle so I'm gonna record my phone screen so you guys can see what I'm doing and then yeah basically just gonna be taking this for a buy um, let's see so take that for a buy now all right we're currently about to hit 10 pips all right we're 10 pips profit so let's see so I'm gonna move my stop loss now 1781.2 so 1781.2 um, obviously you can see we have had some quite big candles as well we don't want to get stuck in big drawdown if this does pull right back we want to be out of that trade right so yeah so we can see we're up 15 pips at the moment hopefully it can it can go up let's have a look at the four hour okay so four hour is kind of coming up to this support resistance zone uh, but we do have a good sort of like 50 pips maybe till we actually get to that point so yeah we could essentially go for 50 pips on this trade we're up close to 20 pips at the moment and hopefully this just continues to skyrocket and then basically if it does continue to skyrocket we might close out yeah i mean hopefully 50 pips okay so we're up 25 pips and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move my stop loss to 10 pips into profit uh, which would be at 82.2 so we're going to move that from 81.2 to 82.2. Um, so we've now secured $200 on this trade. Okay, we're up 35 pips at the moment. So I'm going to move this up another... I'm just going to move this to point... Oh, okay, we're up quite a bit now. Uh, so I'm going to move this to... 4. No. 3.5. Okay, so now we've got 15 pip trailing stop loss. Uh, we're currently up 30. Uh, ooh, we're, we're almost up 40 pips at the moment. Okay, so this is literally just scalping, of course. Uh, yeah, boom, 40 pips. I'm going to manually close this in a sec. So we can see it's starting on the ticker chart. It looks like it's starting to drop. Um, yeah, we don't really want it to drop below 600. Um, we want that to really start pushing up for us now. 700. Come on, keep going up. <laughs> right, so. Uh, let's see. 700. Um, no, it's going back into the 600s. Basically, what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to move the stop loss again. So, we'll move the stop loss. You can see uh, it's, it's kind of breaking below these previous lows. Um, right, let's see. So our stop loss is currently at 83.5. Um, yeah, I mean, it's coming back to that now. Realistically, we didn't want it to drop this far back down. Um, I would have liked to have closed it before it dropped this far back down. But yeah, I mean, it's about to... We're about to get stopped out anyway. So we've closed that off now. We've literally closed it for $500. Um, and... I've just realized actually that there wasn't a buy signal so technically I shouldn't have actually taken that trade um, I just know that obviously because we had that buy signal before it pulled back into our consolidation zone and moved away and then obviously went from red to a blue we now we now are back in that uptrending market we're above that consolidation zone it is moving up again now we're pretty much at break even at the moment so you can see it is starting to push back up a bit now um, it will most likely push above these highs um, yeah it, lo it looks like it wants to break above that um, but what I didn't want to happen was to be stuck 
and this pull all the way back to that consolidation zone um, and then obviously that would have put us into minus when we were already in good profit I'd rather just take 500 um, and then obviously wait for the next trade I will keep an eye on the market for maybe another 20 minutes or so, see what happens. If nothing major happens, then we'll just leave it at that. But if we can get one more trade in, then I'll try and get one more trade in. And we will end this episode with either a loss or a profit for the day. So we finally just got another signal. So same thing again, we're literally gonna be taking a sell. So as you can see, the market did actually go up. It continued up, it kind of broke above that previous resistance. If we go back to the four hour, we can see that at this point, was a kind of uh, support resistance area before. So yeah, you can see previous support uh, which hopefully is now going to be resistance. So yeah, so if we put a horizontal ray, you can see obviously uh, previous support, previous support, previous support, and hopefully this is now going to be resistance. Hopefully it's going to reject that zone and move down, but it could just as easily break above. So again, this is a zone where I placed it. It looks like it might have broken above, pulled back and now go up but it's just a zone so it could be anywhere around this area is basically where I'm looking for it to actually reject it could shoot up but I'm hoping we at least get a pullback back to this previous zone if this does turn around and we get a blue candle we will obviously close this trade in minus and we'll end this video in minus but it's not a crazy amount of drawdown as I said this is a hundred thousand dollar account uh, we're actually just over a hundred thousand dollars um, and our risk is literally about 300 maybe 400 dollars so realistically we're still risking less than 0.5 percent we will wait for this trade to play out and see what happens in the meantime make sure you join the trading community i will leave links to everything in the description so i'll leave links to prime xbt which again is our sponsor for today i'll leave links to funded trading plus which offers a phenomenal platform for funding and of course i'll leave a link to glow node so if you want to try this strategy out yourself you can, but either way, let's see what happens with this trade. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so uh, this sell trade is finally starting to move. It, it went into minus for quite a while, uh, and then it's basically just been hovering around break even. But as I said, I wanted to see a pullback um, at least maybe to this kind of zone over here. So we can see we're literally having that pullback right now um, So we're currently up uh, Well around like 12 pips or so so I'm gonna move my stop-loss Yeah, so we're 15 pips up close close enough to 15 pips up I'm gonna move my stop-loss to break even which is at 7 6 so uh, Four point I'll put it at seven um, and that's where my stop loss is going to be. So hopefully that doesn't stop us out. Um, and then, yeah, you can see obviously it's trying to pull back. But really what we want to see now is this to just really drop with some pressure. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's taken maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, no, not even 15 minutes, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it's taken a few minutes to start to really get started. Uh, but again, once you start seeing that momentum, hopefully, we well, all we're trying to do really is just ride the momentum. So we're just trying to go with the momentum. We're trying to go with the flow um, and just see what happens basically. So you can see we're 15 pips up right now. Um, I would like to see at least another 500 really. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we, we just hit 500. I'm just gonna wait and see if it starts moving up a little bit, if it, if it drops down a little bit further. No, it looks like it wants to come back up. What I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna move my stop loss now to 10 pips into profit. So we've secured 200, okay? So if we move our stop loss now to 3.7 instead of 4.7, oh, 3.7. So we'll move our stop loss so we've secured 200 profit and we'll just wait and see what happens. So anyways, uh, we can see we're just kind of hovering around this area right now. Okay, our stop loss is literally at 200 profit. So we, we don't want it to hit our profit. It looks like it's, it looks like it's coming back yet. Yeah. Right, so 
That's closed out $200 profit. So we've been trading for about an hour and a half. We did get stopped out on that last trade. Uh, but you can see the first few trades we did hit some losses because of this consolidation zone over here. Uh, we caught a nice buy which again like I said the signal wasn't there. But we, we knew we were in buy mode now. It had broken above that resistance zone. Um, and then obviously when it pulled back in, as soon as it broke above again, I know the candles were obviously red, but I, I wanted to see that rejection of this zone, right? Overall, $200 profit in an hour and a half isn't too bad. It's not the best because like I said, we did take those first losses. We were down 500 at first. So realistically, we could have been up 700 if we didn't take any of those trades in that consolidation zone but either way at least we ended the video with some profit if you like this video make sure you like this video and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos if you like this video make sure you like this video and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future content if you want to see more videos like this make sure you leave a comment and let me know thank you very much and i'll see you all soon